house on a regular basis. We're going to start with some what, what we call hammer curls. Now watch to the side of my arms here and I'm going to hold these like I'm holding a suitcase in each hand. And then I'm just going to bring them straight up to the shoulders and down and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and 10 and 11 and 12. <sighs> I felt a little warmth come up in my bicep muscles. These muscles right here. I felt that get a little bit warm while I was doing the lift. And this is just five pounds. Five pounds seems like a lot of weight to some people. This weighs a little more than half of a gallon of milk. This weighs about the amount that some laundry detergent bottles weigh. There's a possibility that where you do your laundry at your house, probably the laundry room, you have to reach up on a shelf or reach down on the floor and pick up that bottle of detergent that weighs five pounds. So this is a realistic amount of weight to work out with. Now, if you're older and this is too much of a strain, get you some smaller ones. Like I said, about a dollar a pound. So a couple of these, you know, they're about 250 a piece, I think. You can use them. I got, I got a granny in my class here at the senior center. She is 89 years old and uh, you know, she's still, she's still pumping iron. What can you say? All right, now I'm gonna take that bicep curl. That's what we were doing with called the hammer curl. We were doing to like this. We're gonna turn that around and I'm gonna flatten these hands facing upward. And I'm gonna keep the weights in this orientation all the way to the shoulders and pump and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and 10 and rest it just for a second. We try to do these exercises in sets because you know we want to fatigue the muscle. We actually wanna make the muscles a little bit tired. We don't wanna make them hurt. We don't wanna make them so tired you can't lift that gallon of bleach or detergent tomorrow, but we wanna fatigue the muscles a little bit because that's what helps the muscles uh, grow and get stronger and strength is good at every age. All right, we're gonna go back to hammer curls. Like I got a suitcase in each hand, we're gonna do alternating arms. So this is designed to kind of make my body fight because if I'm doing this and this and this and this and four and four and five and five and six and six and seven and seven and eight and eight and nine and nine and 10 and 10. When I'm doing alternating arms, all of my core muscles are fighting that weight that's being thrown out in front of me. That weight's going out here and coming up. My core is locking in to keep me from toppling over. My back muscles are firing up to keep me from toppling over. Let's go back to a traditional bicep curl. My arms are gonna start straight down to my sides and we're gonna both at the same time, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and rest. Uh, I just, I, I love doing this stuff. You know, how much do you have to do? What if you just did 10 or 15 minutes a day? That would probably be enough to keep you from losing so much muscle mass as you age. So that's some bicep work. That's pretty good, but I want to I want to work on my shoulders a little bit. I can do that simply by, I'm gonna stand erect and I'm just gonna lift these weights out to the side. Ooh, there you go. And I'm gonna lift them out to the side and lift them out to the side and I'm gonna bring them on parallel to the floor. And if I was with my class right now, I'd ask somebody what's the count, but I know when to stop. And two more. And last one and rest. Ah, so much fun. <laughs> you know, once you get in the habit of doing this, you come to look forward to it. I mean, it's not like, oh, I gotta go lift weights. No, it's just uh, it's just something you do because you know you're taking care of yourself. And you know because you had your elders before you, you see what happens as, as people age. They get weak and before long they can't take care of themselves and they can't do the things they used to do. Even something as simple as going to church or going shopping becomes much more difficult. 
What if you chose to stay stronger than your predecessors did? And what if you had a better quality life for years longer than they did? You know, that's, that's my whole driving force here, is I want to be healthy and strong in my old age. All right, let's do one more set of those, those flies. These are kind of hard, and if it hurts your shoulder, don't go up as high. So if it hurts your shoulder, you may just want to go this high. We can still engage the muscle some, but for those of you that can, we're gonna go straight out to the side and down, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. Whoo, that feels good, feels good, feels good. With most of these exercises, I want to do at least three sets of about 10 lifts. And uh, usually by that point, if the weight is heavy enough, my muscles are sufficiently uh, fatigued that it helps them stay strong. Now, how often do I need to do this? These little workouts like this, you could do every day of the week, not gonna hurt you. Uh, if it's too easy, you need to get heavier weights. Yeah, I got some ladies in my class that are working out with these, these eight pounders. That's a, that's, that's a lot of difference. Can you see the difference there? Yeah. And uh, I, got, I got a couple that are using 10 and 15 pounders. So it's not a guy thing, it's not a girl thing, it's a strength thing. And uh, you know, about probably three fourths of my classes are, are senior women. And uh, a lot of these senior women have already or are presently taking care of their spouse or another loved one. And it takes a lot of strength to do this. I encourage those of you that are caregivers to continue taking care of yourself and lifting these weights is one day, one way that we can do that because uh, you know, taking care of somebody full time is tough. It's really tough. You need your strength for that. This can be a reward you give to yourself by playing with these little weights. Three, four, five, seven, eight pounds, whatever you're comfortable, whatever you can handle, and your body will get used to it, you'll get stronger, and that way you won't get hurt if you're helping your loved one move somewhere in the house, in or off, uh, on or off the toilet, any of those things that we have to do, helping them get dressed, helping them stand, if you keep yourself strong, maybe you won't get hurt. Let's have some more fun with these. So we did hammer curls, we did traditional bicep curls, and we did flies, now let's make it fun. I got some width between my feet, about shoulders width. I'm gonna put them up here like I'm trying to stick them in my ears. But it's almost like we're referees and we're saying, touch down, touch down, going straight overhead, two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and 10 and rest. And uh, we usually do three sets of those in the classes. And since we're already pretty loosened up and warm, we're gonna go up there and go ahead and start the segment. This time we're gonna do alternating arms. Now I'm gonna push off my feet just a little bit when I do this, so I'm gonna push, 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 push. I got a little bounce into this. That way I get a little leg workout in the process too. Now, Mr. Gene, when in the world am I gonna need to do that in real life? Well, just imagine at your house, in your garage, in your shed, in your barn, there's something on a shelf, and you've got to reach up there and get it. I'm going to reach up there and get it, and I'm going to bring it down. That's something you've been doing your whole life. Those are the muscles we were just training that you're going to use to get something off a closet shelf, off the pantry shelf, you know, out of your garage somewhere. So, anyway, now, last set, we're going to start like we... Look like I set a goal post out here, and I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna tap, and I'm gonna tap down. Do this slow. Tap down. Up and tap down. 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 Last one, tap. Whoo! Did you feel that? I felt that right up here in my shoulders. All these muscles that encircle the, the rotator cuff, we were working those really good. Now let's do something for fun. And I think this is, for this exercise session, 
This is going to be the last exercise. And the only reason I'm doing that is because I don't want these to run too long. This one's already about 12 minutes. And when I'm working out with my crew, we call these doing washboards. And uh, those of you that <laughs> listen to bluegrass music, there's always that guy over there with a stick playing Granny's old washboard. Okay. And so this is our impersonation of doing washboards. This is upper back and shoulders. I'm going to lean over into this just a, just a little bit. And I'm going to pull them up to the chin and down, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. Now, when you're doing those, think about keeping your core muscles tight. If you do, it'll support your low back because this is all weight out front that's being moved. So. I'm going to keep them tight and reduce the possibility of hurting your low back. All right, let's do one more set of washboards because they're so much fun. And uh, here we go. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. Hey folks, we're done. Thank you for doing a strength workout with Papa Gene. They also call me Gene Fleming at the Fort Payne Senior Center in Fort Payne, Alabama. As soon as this coronavirus thing's over, I want you to come and work out with us. We have a good time. We get some serious, serious body work done. And that's not the kind you do on your car. It's the kind you do on you. Until next time.